I am setting up for a flexible sigmoidoscopy and here we have the flexible sigmoidoscope which is hooked up to the power supply. There are various hoses and cords that need to be hooked up to the power supply. We have the sigmoidoscope hooked directly into the power supply. We have a little canister here that is uh, needs to be filled up with distilled water for any flushing that needs to be done. So I will do that now. And this hose gets hooked into the flexible sigmoidoscope uh, tubing. This tubing is connected to a jar that is used to collect any stool particles or fluids from the colon. This tube is hooked up to uh, one of the fittings on the sigmoidoscope as well. Uh, the next step in preparing for this procedure is filling up the bins with uh, soapy water and fresh water for rinsing directly after the procedure. We have two tubs here of water uh, for cleaning the sigmoidoscope. One has soapy water in it and the other one has fresh water. They are both filled about a third of the way full, just enough to cover the whole scope. Uh, directly after the procedure, the physician will take the sigmoidoscope and place it into the soapy water for pre-cleaning. The last part to setting up for this procedure is to set out some exam gloves for the physician and to set out some lubricating jelly for the end of the sigmoidoscope. As I go get the patient, I will make sure that I have available the information regarding the procedure and the consent form that the doctor is going to discuss with the patient and have the patient sign. And now I will go get the patient. So now we're going to talk briefly about cleaning the sigmoidoscope. So for the purpose of training, we've taken the water out of the tubs. The first thing I do when I come in after this procedure is wipe down the sigmoidoscope with the soapy water and some 4x4s. After I wipe it down, there are several steps to cleaning the outside and the inside of the flexible sigmoidoscope. After I go through that process, I rinse it thoroughly with uh, soapy water and a syringe. After the cleaning process is done with the soapy water, I transfer the scope to the rinse water. I follow a lot of the same steps in the rinse water, like flushing the inside with, with clean water and wiping the outside of the scope. After that process is done, I remove the scope from the rinse water and I transfer it to the table where I dry it thoroughly. After the scope is dry, I transfer it to a bin that has some high-powered cleaning solution. It will stay in that high-powered cleaning solution for a minimum of 12 minutes to soak. After the soaking process is complete, the scope is removed from the disinfectant, is completely dried, and is stored until the next procedure. <laughs>